In the last lesson, we learned that the history of computers is divided into four eras and the era we are in today is known as the electronic era. In the electronic era, computer technology began to develop very rapidly. Because of this, the computers used in the electronic era were divided into five generations. The technology used in the first generation is the vacuum tube. Also, punch cards are used for input, output and storing. Because machine language was used to enter the commands, the commands were executed quickly and there was no need for language translator software. But entering commands was a complicated task. Examples of first generation computers are ENIAC, EDSAC, EDVAC and UNIVAC that we found in the history of computers. A common feature of the first generation of computers was their large size. In the picture you can see there is one computer in the whole room. In these computers, which are taller than the average human, people are working at work. Due to the large size, the price is also high. Can't move. It also consumes a lot of electricity. The amount of heat generated is also high as electricity is consumed in large quantities. These computers frequently break down due to excessive heat generation. Also, the output receives were sometimes not correct and took long time to process were common features of these computers. The technology used in the second generation of computers is transistors, in addition to which these were used for secondary storage. Assembly language is used to enter commands and assembler software is used to convert programs written in assembly language into machine language. A common feature of second generation computers is that they are smaller in size than first generation computers. The computer which used to fill a room has now become smaller so that it can be placed in a small space in the room. Also, the computer is a little shorter than the height of a normal human being. In the picture you can see there is also a chair next to this computer. That means even sitting down this computer has been able to work. Being smaller in size it consumed less power and generated less heat and processed faster than the first generation of computers. The technology used in third generation computers is the integrated circuit. In the last lesson, I said that no new technology was invented after the transistor. So, what is this integrated circuit? An integrated circuit is a circuit made by combining several transistors. It is the transistor itself inside the integrated circuit. Instead of the three terminals of the transistor, there are many terminals in the integrated circuit. Third generation computers used high capacity disks for secondary storage, keyboard and mouse for data retrieval and high level languages for entering commands. A common feature of third generation computers is that they are even smaller than the second generation computers. Now it's small enough to fit on a table. The shape of the desktop computers used today began to appear in the third generation of computers. Due to its small size, electricity consumption and heat generation decreased and efficiency increased. The technology used in fourth generation computers is microprocessors. These are also known as large scale integrated circuits. Because microprocessors are an improvement on integrated circuits, Microprocessors also contain transistors. The number of terminals has further increased. A common feature of the fourth generation of computers is that the computers are small enough to be portable. Furthermore, the use of graphical interfaces, the ability to input data using voice, the emergence of devices such as laptops and tabs that can be carried around due to their small size, reduced electricity consumption, reduced heat generation, and increased efficiency and reliability. The technology used in fifth generation computers is ULSI. These are also known as ultra-large scale integrated circuits. 
This is also an improvement on the transistor itself. Common features of fifth generation computers include smaller devices, internet access, and increased efficiency and reliability. Apart from this, research is being done on technologies like artificial intelligence and other technologies. Thus, generation after generation, size, power consumption, heat generation, and defects have decreased while efficiency and reliability have increased. Let us now remember what technologies were used in the five generations that divided computers in the electronic era. The technology used in the first generation of computers was vacuum tubes or electronic valves and the language was machine language. The technology used in second generation computers was the transistor and the language was assembly language. The technology used in third generation computers was the integrated circuit. The technology used in fourth generation computers was the microprocessor. The technology used by fifth generation computers was ULSI and the language was high level language.